So I want to start this with a number, 32 million. It's a pretty big number, and it's 10% of the general population of the U.S., and that is what doctors predict, um, the number of people doctors predict have gluten sensitivity. And my family is part of that 10% and part of that almost 32 million. And so I decided to do my research on gluten sensitivity because I wanted to find answers. I wanted to find out what was happening to me and what was happening to my family because each of us had different symptoms. I get headaches, my dad gets high blood pressure, my brother gets stomach issues, and my mom's immune system crashes and becomes almost nothing. And it was a struggle for a long time, and we had a hard time even getting a diagnosis, and it took my mom almost dying to even get an answer. And I wanted to find out why that was happening to us and how gluten was affecting our bodies. And I should probably explain what gluten is. Gluten is a protein found in grains, such as wheat, and, um, and when we eat it, it causes all kinds of crazy things. It causes all kinds of symptoms, apparently depending on the person. And when I got into this research, I started finding all these contradictions between the different articles. And it hurt to know that there is no solid research for something that so deeply affected me and deeply affected my family. And it's probably deeply affecting almost 32 million people in the US because the one thing that any of the research agreed upon was that number. And they contradicted on whether or not it was gluten actually causing the problems, contradicted on what the symptoms were, on how to diagnose it, because there is no generally accepted way of diagnosing people with this. They get diagnosed with all kinds of other problems, but they won't find what's actually causing it, except through trial and error, which can sometimes lead to <laughs> years of suffering and in pain and nearly dying or ending up in the hospital. And I wanted to use this project to kind of express that, to kind of put it out there that this is a problem and it's not just about, you know, individual people. It's about 10% of the general population, which is a huge number. And I think it's sad that 32 million people can't get an answer. But I hope in the future that more research can be done and that more money can be put into this and that these people can get answers that they deserve to have because I don't want anybody having to go through having their family nearly torn apart because they can't get a proper diagnosis because the research doesn't exist. And I hope that we can find that research and that people can find answers that they need in order to survive, in order to live happily, in order to live healthily. Because it sucks that people can't be told that they're sick because they can't find a diagnosis. And I hope that we can find the answers, and really soon. Thank you.